Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Um, since this is a brand new movie, I'm going to keep it spoiler free and everything, so I'm not going to really try to go too deep into the plot and stuff. Pretty much this movie follows a young man, played by Justice Smith, who uh, lives in a world where humans and Pokemon uh, live together and everything, and he goes to the this city called Prime City to try to discover what's happened to his father, because his father's disappeared, and along the way he meets Pikachu that he can understand everything he says and everything, and the two of them team up to try to find his dad. So that's pretty much all I'm going to really say about this movie because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, but uh, This movie is directed by Robert Letterman and written by him and Dan Hernandez, <coughs> Benji Shamil, and Derek Conley. And, uh, this is a really, really fun movie. I was a huge fan of Pokemon as a kid. It was a huge part of my childhood. I used to collect the cards. I had over probably four or five hundred cards. Um, and I had all kinds of Pokemon toys and everything. I was really, really into it for a really long time. And I kind of lost track of it after, pretty much after Ash, Misty, and Brock split up. I tried to keep track of it for a little while afterwards, but I ended up losing track of it, especially after they, they took the kids WB off of Saturday mornings and stuff where I kind of lost track of it, but um, I've never really fully lost interest in Pokemon, it's just I, never, I haven't really been able to keep up with it, but this movie was really, really good. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, the rest of the cat all of the cast in this is really good. Justice Smith was really great as the main character. I think his name was Tim Goodman. But uh, he does a really good job. And I was kind of eerie about that because I hate about him being in this movie. Cause I, I hated Justice Smith in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. He, he got on it was really, really bad in that movie. But in this one, he was really, really good. His acting was very good and everything. Um, also was kind of iffy about Ryan Reynolds doing the voice of Pikachu, but to be honest, I don't think anybody else could have done it better. I think he did an excellent job and everything. I was I was really surprised by that and everything. Um, the rest of the cast in this is good. Um, Catherine Newton, who was in Paranormal Activity 4, and I think she was in the comedy Blockers. Um, she's in this, and she she's pretty good. Her, the chemistry between her and Justin Smith, Justice Smith, is really good, and everything. And um, Chris Greer, or Chris Gear, is in this. I don't know really if I've seen him in anything else, but he, he's good in it. Um, Bill Nye has a really big part in it. I was really surprised to see him in here because I didn't know about him being in it, but he was really good in it. Um, and then Suki Waterhouse is in here. She's pretty good. I, I've seen her in a couple other things. Uh, most recently, I think, was The Bad Batch. But no, I liked her a lot in that movie. And Ken one Watanabe. What what I probably think. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he was in Godzilla. Um, uh, he was really good in this too, um, but yeah, all the cast was really good. The, the special effects they use on the Pokemon, I, I thought it was really cool because the Pokemon actually still look a lot like they did in the cartoon and stuff. They they weren't over the top terrible CGI or anything like that. I thought the Pokemon looked cool and everything. I like there was a a lot of nods and stuff to the 
animated show and some of the old movies. So I thought that was really cool too. And someone who's been not really kept up with Pokemon in the last 13, 14 years, it, it was it's really nice to finally get to see something new and be not totally be confused about everything. Cause there, a few years ago, I did try to watch it again, start watching it again, but I was really confused about everything that was going on on the show. But um, I really enjoyed this movie and everything. I think if you were a fan of Pokemon growing up, you would probably like this one a lot. If you're not a fan of Pokemon, you probably wouldn't. Um, I don't know. But, um, I really enjoyed this movie. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. It had a lot of part, and the humor, for the most part, worked really good and everything. And, uh, Pikachu was adorable, as always. And everything. There's, and Ryan Reynolds was hilarious in his Pikachu and everything, but he wasn't as over the top hilarious as I thought he was going to be. And it had a lot, like I said, it had a lot of heart, and there were some pretty good uh, dramatic moments and stuff in this movie, too. And um, getting to see Charizard as a live action character I thought was awesome because Charizard was my favorite Pokemon as a kid and everything, so I thought that was awesome, too. Um, but I, I'd give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I, I haven't played the game that it's based on because I don't know. I don't play video games a whole lot anyway, and I don't really have any of the new systems. So this one I haven't been able to play, but um, but I do love the movie it's based on. Anyway, I think it's probably my favorite movie based on a video game that I've ever seen, besides Rampage and the Tomb Raider, first two Tomb Raider movies. But, um, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review, uh, uh, and everything. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the, this movie and who was your favorite Pokemon or, and if you were, if you grew up watching Pokemon and stuff, who was your favorite as a kid and is it still the same one nowadays? Um, I always liked Pikachu and Charizard a lot. They were always my two favorites and they still are, but I was just curious about that and, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good day everybody.